Okay, hello everyone, and welcome to Stock Career in 1.8 Day 3. And as promised, we are going to be doing uh, airplane things, but I should probably get some extra... Well, I don't know. I mean, we have to... We need to get some extra money is what we need, because we can't unlock all this stuff until we get more money uh, to unlock the R&D building. Uh, otherwise, really, the extra science is moot right because we can't go past this line and i don't think any of this other stuff is good for planes so we can just quickly do a plane um let's see uh but let's see if there's anything bring bring green sandstone on minmus back to kerbin well eventually yeah sure um uh, i want that green sandstone um sands day from space around minmus yeah um, rescue the Rory from orbit of Kerbin. Well, we'll get to it at some point. Okay, yeah. Um, yeah. Haul the J404 afterburning turbofan into flight above Kerbin. Now we're talking. <laughs> now we have a contract that requires a plane. Okay, let's do that. Uh, land long from orbit of Moon. Well, who do we think is more likely to be a pilot? Lanlong or Dottie? Hmm. Wait. Wow, Dottie pays better. Dottie pays a lot better. Hmm. Well, we'll get Dottie then. I like free curls. That's good. We'll get Dottie. Okay, but first, let's see about that J404 afterburning turbofan. So... On my first plane, I sure as heck don't want to um, do it crude. <laughs> I'm not gonna do it crude. Sorry, uh, we're not we're not doing that. No, sir. Just gonna we we need to spare on part counts though. I wish we had something of this form factor. That's a remote control part. Propellers. Oh, hmm. How did you mention it? Uh, but do we do we have an engine that the propeller can be used on? We have to use the panther anyway. Let's just slap the panther on. They said haul it up. Does that mean that we can't use it? I forget how that works in the contract system. Well, we probably just want all the airplane parts. Swept wings are always good. Let's use swept wings. Uh, Coyotes Frontier, do you happen to know if the haul contract means that, uh, whether you can use it to get there or whether you have to have it off and get there, get to that altitude? I don't like these swept wings though. These swept wings beg for canards. Hmm. Let's see. I mean, they're, they're swept just the wrong way, just barely the wrong way. Uh, do we have those slightly swept elevons? No? You know, there's the ones that are meant to be on the swept wing, but it doesn't look like we have those. Oh yes, I do. Yeah, I do want a V-tail, but I also wanted to put these on, so... Just in case we can't light the, the panther engine. I really want something to put on to that, so, hmm, I think power is probably the best thing. We definitely don't need mop propellant. Who needs mop propellant in the cockpit? Anyway, not eight batteries. It's actually an octo. It should be eight batteries. Yes, shoots on a plane is cheating. We're not going to have anybody in the cockpit first, though. This will be a drone. Uh, yeah, I expect to get it back. I don't expect it to fail, darn it. Service base? Oh, for that? Oh, that'd be more mass though, isn't it? Than actually putting... Batteries are functional. Service bays are dead mass. I want to move the wing up so it covers the landing gear properly as I move the landing gear out, you see. Well, now that you mention uh, weather incident, we'll call it stormy. Just for the heck of it. Now, I don't know whether we can use the Panther for the haul contract. Now, Mikko should know. If we've got a haul contract, can we ignite that engine on the ground? That's my question. That's why I have the Junos. 
I don't know whether I can... I, actually, the Junos can't even push it to that velocity, but anyway. Um, can we... Yes? So we don't need the Junos, then. If we can just light the Panther, then we don't need the Junos. We need air intakes, though. <laughs> we didn't have enough air intakes, anyway. Just haul it. Okay. Uh... I, I like these for this purpose. Um, let's let's do the old style. I don't know if this is gonna be enough. No, I don't like that. It can be at the center of the wheelbase. You mean you want this configuration? Like a drone? Pitch authority? Usually you don't use a rudder for pitch authority. <laughs> You use these almighty winglets for pitch authority. In fact, I'm not even gonna let that do pitch for now. I'm afraid it'll be too twitchy. Okay. They should work automatic. Oh god, look at this runway. Okay. No, you can go up now. In exchange, oh, you wanted to dump the canards? We don't dump canards around here. I should have, I don't have action groups, so I have to have this open to get the afterburning mode once we get to altitude. Let's fly by the island runway. We need to get to 5,000 meters, I think. Yeah, and 400 meters per second. And of course, stock has this horrible drag in the transonic region. Well, I'm sure there's an Easter egg there. Yeah, I know. It's one of the old parts. I've been there. It looks about the same like it used to be, actually. Anyway, we need to beat that velocity, so... Okay, toggle mode. Uh, KSP is not stuttering. Is it seeming to stutter for everybody? I don't have any drop frames. It is a bit? Because hmm. I'm trying to record and stream at the same time, of course. And OBS doesn't always like that. Okay, we got that contract done. I'll land at the regular runway first, and then later on we'll try the island runway. We'll try the island runway with the propeller, because uh, I want to try out the rotor parts. I don't do barrel rolls. This is a rule. <laughs> this is a rule. I can't do a barrel roll. I'm a safe test pilot. We don't do such things. That's why that's why they entrust me with their new planes. Look, if the only reason you need the shoot is because you do barrel rolls, maybe you should to just cut out the shoot and skip the barrel rolls. <laughs> I mean, the problem is they're gonna take away the panther from us as soon as I land. We won't have the panther anymore. It was a test part. Well, the plane will keep... Yeah, I mean, eventually we'll unlock the panther. But we'll make faster planes. Stop trying to get me to destroy this plane, Mr. Doobie. Oh yeah, no, if Ju two Junos, it'll still be nice. It's a nice plane. Nice plane. It needs to have air brakes, though. <laughs> and I'm doing these turns to slow down. Slow down. Slow down. It's a bit of a lawn dart. No, this is way fast. We'll go around. 
SAS. Sheesh. Oh, don't don't wiggle, don't wiggle. Oh, I hate this. Ah, no. I'm so afraid of it tipping over. Just just stay still, stay still. Okay, get back on the runway. Get back on the runway. Make it look good. <laughs> I think it might be smoother in the tier three though. I I didn't see any bumps to be honest. I just didn't have a whole lot of confidence in it. Anyway, recover. Okay, for the first time ever, rotors. I have never used rotors. Let me see if it's got anything. No, it's all rescue this, rescue that. Rustic. Well, it's, uh, it's uh, suited to propellers, to be honest. So I guess it's a, I mean, they probably should have added the propeller planes before they added the rustic runway or about the same time, but no. Okay, so I'll still, eh, shall we go with a Kerbal? I don't know. I think we can put this on and still make it happen. Um, let's see, robotics, this is the turbo shaft engine, ugh, it doesn't look great. What kind of nodes did it have on there? See, now in this context, this looks okay. Okay, so, uh, propeller blade type B. Sounds good to me. I don't know what type A is, but type B is fine. Do they, I mean, it says clockwise. I mean, and then there's a counter I guess as long as they're clockwise and uh, this knows that it's supposed to go clockwise, it'll be alright, right? Hmm, I need a nose cap. That's all we've got, and it doesn't look good. Is there a hubcap or something? Very small, oh, that must be it. This is my first propeller airplane. In, well, okay, no. It's my first propeller airplane that didn't involve fire spitter. Maybe we should make it like a GB. Uh, let's see, yeah. Let's see. Uh, so, let's say counterclockwise. Uh, it doesn't matter. Invert, direct. No, that this thing doesn't care at all about these. It is unmoved by such things. Why don't we make it a rear prop? This the the problem is we have our, all our airplane parts are too big for this. Submarine? Well, we could double that. Uh, come on. See, this this fin is going to be way big and get cut by that rotor, so that's not good. Mm, we need more parts. Okay, let's unlock all the parts. <laughs> it's not going to happen anyway. Never really understood this winglet. But, yeah, it's gonna have to be, yeah, well, I mean, we know some, some old, uh, was it a Dornier? Theo something or another that had that. Or was it, uh, well, there's a lot of pusher thing with jiggies. Mm, okay, yeah, we're probably gonna have to go with that, and... I've got the XP-55 and War Thunder, that's sort of the same way. The Ascender. The, I mean, the other way is to have a very straight sort of vertical stabilizer. That's another option. There's no hope. Can't get away without canards. You can't! Those are huge though. I don't want huge canards. I want cute canards. Let's just tuck them in. Okay, uh, that looks fine to me. We need the landing gear. We haven't put too many parts. Let's make sure that these are doing what they're supposed to be doing. Just the control surfaces as canards? Yeah, that might be a little bit 
Uh, it's not the right aspect ratio. Maths? No. <laughs> Actually, uh, no, I mean, when I was a kid, I used to uh, copy, trace out planes. I used to get books of planes and just trace them. Um, so, the thing about rockets is, they all look the same. They're just big tubes. So you have to do math. But, planes, there are so many different kinds of planes. You can basically get away with anything with planes. You just have to have known what other people have gotten away with with planes. <laughs> so, uh, having looked at a lot of planes, I don't always know the names of the planes. But I know what they look like. And so... Uh, I, I know a fair, fairly large range of planes. Um, but knowing what people have gotten away with gives you an idea of... Well, I mean, if I put the all the surfaces in the same place as another plane that I know of, I know that it should work. And sure enough, when I actually turn on the center of mass and center of lift, it always does. So... There are a few mathematical things, but a, a plane can take off without a thrust-to-weight ratio of 1. Uh, most planes do not have a thrust-to-weight ratio of 1, for instance. Um, there's only one real number that uh, you have to worry about a plane. Rutan Longy Z is another plane I like a lot, yeah. Yeah, that one uh, I've considered getting for X-Plane 11. I, I like a lot of Burt Rutan planes. Yeah. Uh, pick an engine, it has, see, that's the thing, you don't, power isn't a, as big a thing with planes because they can get off the ground without a thrust weight ratio of one. The thing you need to, the only number that's important is wing loading. You need to have a certain amount of wing area given your mass. That's called wing loading. So it's the wing area divided by mass. And... Yeah, I mean, you can eyeball that. You can just see the wing area and go, okay, that's that's about as much wing as I need for this mass. I can, I know, um, the higher the wing loading is, oh, sorry, if it's uh, mass divide, okay, do, do mass divide by wing area. Mass divide by wing area, the higher the wing loading is, the higher the speed you need in order to get off the ground. And that's it. So... That's the only number that's important. If you want to go past Mach 1 though, having a thrust weight ratio close to the speed of sound is helpful. Uh, having a thrust weight ratio close to 1 is helpful to get past the speed of sound. So yeah, the landing gear right behind the center of mass. That's important so you can tilt. Otherwise, uh, if you put it too far back, the plane can't tilt, and you won't be able to take off even if you have the right speed. So you have to make sure that this is close. And not too far back. This may work. I still don't want to put a Kerbal in first. Because I haven't done these propeller things. I don't even know how much thrust this is giving me. And it's not telling me anything back here. I have liquid fuel. The one thing is, when the liquid fuel changes, you gotta watch out for that. See, this goes backwards. Not too far back, thankfully. Do we have fuel in the wings? No, they haven't implemented that yet. We can dump the mod propellant again. Uh, yeah, I don't know how much thrust this gives me. I see an RPM. It says, uh, 150 kilonewtons. <laughs> can we turn that down a bit? Uh... So it has an extra mass based on the power, huh? Does all that power get uh, converted into actual thrust by the propellers? It's a 1 to 1 ratio. Even like this, we have a thrust to weight ratio of 1. I'm worried a little bit about what happens to that prop when we rotate and whether I'm gonna knock it off. <laughs> Right? Rotating is... Uh, uh, this would be good with flaps, to be honest. I'm gonna put flaps on. So, flaps... Not... Not always the greatest thing. But... We'll have flaps this time. Oh, is this... Oh, uh, stock doesn't do flaps, still? Well, I guess it does. 
Okay, we'll need to action. We don't have action groups. Okay, forget flaps. Without action groups, it's trouble. Okay, I don't know how this is gonna go. Please, nobody in the cockpit. Let's see. Rusty one. Science Junior, uh, Science Bay Junior. Let's let's before we add any science. Um, and we could probably put it up here, because moving the center of mass forward is not too big a deal. And it looks like we can easily get enough thrust. But I'd rather not until we know that it works. Okay. All up, and... There's no staging. I'm missing something fundamental here. How do I start this engine? <laughs> uh... What was the same thing? No. Oh, I'm gonna need action groups of this. Okay, maybe I misunderstood what it meant by kill Newtons. <laughs> okay, hold on. Uh, fakes. You pitch the propeller blades? Oh, they got that in there. Great, well, I don't think it's a good idea to use planes without without action groups then. Because if we have to do all that business... We'll we'll need that up and... Okay, pin... And... Yeah, I like jet engines when I don't have action groups. Okay. Let's go straight 50, just for reference. Don't know what authority limiter does for us. Okay, this stuttering... Gosh darn it. It's probably because I'm recording. There's no sound. I don't think it's just you guys. I don't think it's just Germany or something. We're not going very fast. Turn on lift vectors. You mean like that? Well, it can get off the ground. Oh, no it can't. I forgot about keeping care of that. There's suddenly, in a rocket game, the most complicated part of the rocket game, huh? Alright. I swear, I've, I've flown flight simulators that don't require you to adjust the... I mean, I mean, it's like... You know, this is now worse than actually flying a plane. Yeah, I understand. I understand. But it's not... Yeah, even in a real plane, it's not this <laughs> serious. I mean, I, I, you know... Adjusting propeller pitch is a m much smoother activity. It usually doesn't involve a negative number in the deploy angle either. Well, realistic, but, you know, since, like, World War II, a lot of this has been automated. You know, I mean, it doesn't even have to be a computer doing it, but you can just have it, like, geared. There's a lot of ways of automating propeller pitch angle. So, I don't know. It's been, it's been a long time since this has been a major part of... Even a Cessna, I mean, it's not that... Fidgety. Does my throttle matter at all? My throttle doesn't matter at all, does it? Okay, now it's OP. <laughs> now it's OP. Alright. But I can't adjust action groups right now. So I can't assign the RPM to my throttle. Unless I'm mistaken about that. Why is there no sound? No, uh, I can see the RPM limit there, but I just can't parent it to my throttle, is all I'm saying. We're almost out of fuel. I wanted to get to the island runway. These propellers are not efficient at all. Huh. Oh, maybe I was just using too much torque. Yeah, I think we can drop down. Uh, this seems to be tail heavy. 
Yeah, it seems like my initial instinct to limit the thrust available from the engine is correct. It was just using a whole lot of fuel doing nothing. We had a fairly powerful engine either way. Come on. It's a little bit iffy on the balance. We got plenty of lift. What did you want from the vectors? They're just distracting me when I'm trying to land. Oh, oh, oh a little hard, a little hard. We lost the propeller. Why would I want to tweak the power up? Yeah, definitely it was tail heavy. <laughs> I can tell. Hmm, okay. I don't, but if I can't hear the propeller making me go 150 meters per second, do I want the propeller to make me go 150 meters per second? The sound is part of the experience. Empty tank, yeah, but we checked it with the empty tank and it wasn't, it didn't go behind the center lift, so I guess it wasn't far enough ahead. Electric charging now? I don't know. Um, I, I can't deal with an engine that doesn't produce sound here, so let's check the settings. If I turn up any of these sounds, maybe it's voices? I don't think it should be voices. Well, let's try it. I don't want their music. Well, just started a new stock career mode. Completely stock. Less battery. That's just for looks. That's 100% for looks, because I was using a probe core there. Alright, let's get those windows open because I don't have the little action groups. Um, 75 units per... milliunits per second, so that's a thousand seconds. That's not enough. Don't hit the rotors. Don't hit the propellers. Careful. Okay. Oh, get lift. Stock, yes, stock. Oh god, it's it's not it's not it's not propelling. I I forgot to do this. I looked at chat. Ah, oh, we lost money. I hope the recording is getting good FPS though. The recording's not getting good FPS, that's not going to be any good for YouTubes if I ever decide to put this on there. Let me try recording a different way, maybe. Let me stop recording like this.